from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Indian Hill, and welcome to yet another edition of Braves Beat. I'm Asher Weinstein. And I'm Kyle McSorley. Kyle, did you know that today is National Branded Fruit Day? How in the world would I know that? Can you even tell me what branded fruit is, Brandon? Oh, branded fruit is fruit. Fresh, sweet fruit that is soaked in brandy and sugar and then cooked and then used as a topping on pies and cakes and ice cream. No, never mind. Don't need the unimportant details. On to some useful news. Congratulations to Mrs. Silvius in her AP Human Geography class for being named an outstanding ongoing program for 2016 and 2017 by the Ohio School Boards Association. Three programs in the entire state of Ohio were honored by OSBA for providing students unique opportunities for learning and growth. It's a huge honor and a great way to represent our school. Great job, class of 2018. Hopefully this year's class can keep the success going. Now it's time for Tweets of the Week. We absolutely love our fans. Ben Stenluck, we appreciate your support for Braves Best. First quarter ends, you see your grades. They need improvement. Same here, Bren. Same here. Last Saturday, our cross country team ran in the CHL Cross Country Championship. Everyone did amazing. Nolan Heffernan placed fifth, Johnny Giroux placed sixth, Emily Sheard placed ninth, and Ben Bayless took first once again, and yet again broke the school record with a time of 16.03. Ben was also named CHL Runner of the Year. We went down to talk to the star himself. How's it feel to be named Runner of the Year? Um, it's an honor to be Runner of the Year in the CHL as a junior, and I'm hoping to repeat it next year. So awesome. How's it feel placing first in the championship on Saturday? Pretty good. Um, I had high expectations going into the season, and I expected to come in first, so I'm happy about that. We well, get it, Ben. You're quick on your feet. At the end of the morning announcements every day, we are reminded of the six pillars. Let's check in with Dakota and review what it means to show integrity. Having integrity means doing the right thing a reliable way. It's a personality trait that we admire here at Indian Hill. Let me show you what it looks like to have integrity. I'll be right back. Don't cheat. Hey, you want my answer? No, I can't. Integrity. The Indian Hill girls tennis team has continued their incredible streak of success with five players advancing to the Division II state tournament. Samantha Pergel won in singles and the pairs of Julia Yingling and Jessica August and Haley and Gracie Hirsch all triumphed at the district tournament. Coach Samuels will hopefully guide the girls to victory at states as well. Congrats and good luck to all the girls. Hey Kyle, are you going to go see the fall musical? Uh, you mean Anna Green Gables? <laughs> I don't know much about it, to be honest. Well, neither do I, so lucky for us, Braves Beat's Rachel Gerard got the opportunity to go down to the set and see what's in store for us there. Mm. Hey there! We are here at the Anna Green Gables set. Ast is back in the makeup room getting ready to start their dress rehearsal. Okay, so what is one word to describe Anne of Green Gables? Fun. Yeah, it's exciting. Crazy. Especially like as a freshman, it be my first show. Yeah, it's cool, it's fun. So, Elizabeth Donnelly, please answer the question we are all trying to figure out. What is Anne of Green Gables even about? <laughs> um, it's about an orphan who comes to Canada and she gets adopted by a brother and sister and then she goes to school and stuff and gets bullied and then sings songs and then and then yeah, that's that's it. falls in falls in love. Oh, 
Wow, then. Seems interesting enough for me. You? Oh, definitely. The first show was last night, but you still have two more chances to catch the show, tonight and tomorrow night. Doors open at 7 p.m., and the show will start at 7.30. Tickets are $10, so we better see you down there. The football team is selling Beat Wyoming t-shirts for next week's big game. If you want to look as cool as us in the stands next Friday, they will be selling them at lunch this Friday and all of next week, and they're $10. This concludes our time here. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, see us on Snapchat, and email us with any school updates. And good luck to all the sports teams as they continue to advance to their state tournament games. Until we meet again, I'm Kyle. And I'm Asher. And as always, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> right off to an awesome start. Hello, Indian Hill. Uh, well, hi. That's my name. Hello. Oh, that's not me. We're good. Yeah. Your feet on your feet. I appreciate your. You yes, we are. No. Just say it's time. no I. Okay. Are you enjoying that broken table bit? Oh, a lot. It's, it's really entertaining. It's like, bad. Congratulations. Oh, we yeah. Beautiful. Show enough.